Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Fable the Anniversary Edition. I just um, stumbled up to this statue and checked on it. It is pointing to Greatwood. It's now no longer pointing nowhere in particular. So I think this means that that spot that I met, pointed out earlier in the last video is ready. So we're going to race over there and see if, I, if there is something there this time. And if I clicked on it last video, when I did finally get into the tavern cellar, uh, if I'd clicked on the statue instead of just staring at it, I probably would have said the statue was pointing at Bowerstone or something like that. Oh, that's a much bigger beetle than the last time. Come on, get out of my way. I'm trying to get to a thing. Aha! Yes, see? Chest. This, this used to just be a dig spot in the la in the original game. What's here? Piercing! Oh! Piercing augmentation. Reduces the effectiveness of enemy armor. Bind the augmentation to your weapon through the weapon menu, but it is permanent. I don't think my any of my weapons currently have spots for augments, but this is awesome to have. And yeah, you have to have an augmentable weapon in your inventory. Those are awesome. Okay. Um, you were. There's slow time for you. Okay, that's going to need to change. Uh, because what we need is. I need slow time and multi strike to be swapped. So multi strike there. Slow time there. Because once I click slow time, I need to be able to immediately cycle to multi strike next. Alright, what do you sell? Which one are you? Okay, you're the plate dude. Oh, all right. Sorry, staring at something else. Thanks for. I know I need more magic, really. So you can do this right. Oh, chopped his head off with an arrow. Eat your heart out, Robin Hood. South, I believe, so we'll be going. Oh, I need to buy potions and stuff. Not pieces of pie. Uh, I might need to stop off once I get to a place with the Cullis Gate. I may head back to the. Uh, not Orchard Farm. Next one over. Might head back to the guild and buy some potions if I can't. Don't find. Oh, hey, look at all of these potions! Yes, please. Wow. Well, Master's Elixir. Cool. Well, this was a lovely find, wasn't it? Exactly what I needed. Thank you, dead guy. Alright. Where's the lake? You? Yeah, Greatwood Lake. Wait. I 
it passed something on the map. Yeah, Fisher Creek. I almost forgot this place. me line for so long I got me the shakes. Oh no. I've been bait worms all week. Couldn't have come at a worse time either. I've got me a fishing competition to organize. Oh, this is new. I tell you what, I'll give you free entry to the competition. <laughs> Least I could do. Thank you. You'll be needing this here fishing rod. Made it myself. You're better than mine. All you need to do is cast your rod over one of them ripples there. Yeah, I already know how to fish. Thanks, mate. You have reached recognized status. Hello. You didn't have anything in that bookcase, did you? No, I didn't think so. I didn't steal it. Okay. Let's go. Here we go. Do some fishing at Fisher Creek, oddly enough. I got a golden fish. Great pike, my lad. That's a hill of a catch. You should come back here later. I'm reviving the great old fishing the great competition. great old fishing competition. Plenty more fishing spots round here if the mood takes you. Okay. Thanks. So once you get, use the fishing pot, spot and get the thing out of it, then it's empty. I believe you can fish just about anywhere in reality. Whoa, three fishing spots here. That's... nope. I only remember there being one. What else we got here? Uh-oh, this is going to be a tough one. I think I remember my oldest brother having a problem with the fishing one time. I don't know, he had the, you know, when he played this game way back when. I could be make, I could be mixing it up with someone else, but I want to say it was him. Uh, and he was getting frustrated with the uh, trying to fish. Yeah, long time ago. What I get? What I get? What I get? 100 gold? Alright, I'll take it at this point. Four fishing spots over here. Good lord. I think one of these is a key. So, worth the effort. A little close there. Eek. Stop it. Got it. Yeah. 
Ha! What do we got? Come on. Better be worth it. There's my key. How is the key swimming away like that? Acquiring minds want to know. Fish, a carrot, a fish, a moon fish. All right, and leather gauntlets. All right, well, I bought those with my earnings from a po from the uh, pub game, so not like it was wasted money. All right, now we're headed down through the Great Wood area. We've not been south of the Great Wood Lake yet. Yeah. All the enemies respawn, so y'all will be fine. Seriously, I picked like the one spot where I can't get an angle on him. You're a traitor. There we go. Thank you. Nope. I need a faster cancel out of this screen button. Compliments of the day to you, sir. Chicken chaser. Yes, I am chicken chaser. If you can see the trader off the map, but by the time you get over to him, you're already moving into the next map. Interesting. Some bandits have set up a toll in this oh, region. Yes. Be careful. Well, a toll is a toll, and a roll is a roll, and if they don't get no tolls, then they don't eat no rolls. These bandits will kill us for fun. Mm-hmm. Let's see. This path is private. It'll cost you to get through. Or we can always use your head as an ornament. So, unless you're wanting to end up dead. No. Is that the gold? Here, give it here. No, that's 
Okay, they found me. Okay. Eh, combat in this game's a little weird sometimes. Uh, guys. Guys. You don't actually just run away. That's hilarious. I think you're supposed to get them mad. They go running in. They all come running down towards you. And then if you run away, they by default go running down that path to chase you. But just because of the way I ended up doing that whole thing, that did not happen. Ah, explosive barrels I could have shot. Flame augmentation. You're just damn harmed by fire. Again, great thing to have. Money? I like money. I have some. I'd like more. More explosive barrels. Don't attack the explosive barrels. Ah, it's like I knew there's something else over here. There we go. What you got for me? Steel pick hammer. Okay. Uh, equipment. Every time. I mean, it is every bloody time. It is worse than my Iron Katana. Awesome. But there is an achievement for having one of every weapon type in your inventory. So for the time being, I will probably hang on to that pick hammer until I find a better one or if I just desperately need to sell it for some bizarre reason. I think I'm thinking of a different campsite. I swear there was a camp where there was like a mace hanging from one of the tents. I think that's later though. Alright, here we go. Coming up, one of my favorite demon doors, just because it's just so weird beating it. Hello. This is the deal. You perform an act of great evil in my sight, and I'll pop open. Okie dokie. So, act of great evil. I believe you have some options, such as outright murder. I don't remember. Um... If you are just so evil that there's no hiding it, like horns and stuff like that, like I think he'll just open up for you right away. The other option, however, is in your items somewhere you can pick up several crunchy chicks. And it's the bones that make them crunchy, as it says. Uh, crunchy Chicks is a healing item. You can eat to restore your health, but also eating one is inherently evil and because it's a baby chick. And if you eat several of them right in front of the demon door, 
he will pop open for you. He's like, oh, that was wicked, or something like that, and he will let you in. That will probably be the route I go, since I'm trying not to murder random civilians, and I don't think I can random uh, I can murder a bad person right in front of him because they're bad. That's not a bad thing to kill them in this game. So I usually end up uh, racking up a bunch of crunchy chicks and eating them in front of the demon door, and he's got something decent behind him, if I remember correctly. Unfortunately, crunchy chicks are surprisingly hard to come by. You can find them in a couple of traders here and there, but I found the ones I've got. I would pick, pick a weapon and stick with it when I go to pull one out. Stab that beetle. You stab that beetle. Alright. This should be a colorless gate. I don't think I have to do anything to activate it. It's just there now. Yeah. Alright. So I can come back to this as a nice fast travel spot. Convenient. Hello, traders. Any of you have any crunchy chicks? Would you like to trade? Let's see, you have shirts, clothes, trousers, boots. Yeah, I see, beer kegs. So, trade goods like this you can buy in bulk sometimes and get a lot of them cheap from someone on the road and then sell them in town for more. Uh, you do not have any crunchy chicks. Things like emeralds, again. When he has a bunch of them, you can get them at below cost and then sell them in town if you find a place that's looking for emeralds, because they don't have any. So, you can do... You can do some trading and make some make a lot of money that way. It just takes patience to locate the right deals and take advantage of them. And sometimes you have to hold on to a bunch of inventory for a while in the meantime. Rose Cottage. Okay. Ah, Demon Door. I never open on the first day. My heart has been broken too many times before. I can only let someone who really loved me through. I think if you give him an engagement ring, I will eventually get go through and get all the demon doors. Uh, obviously, they're, not all of them are readily available to open right when you find them, unless you just happen to have the thing with you which I don't always. This is a nice little flower circle we're digging in here. Found the key. I trimmed your bushes. That's an act of goodness, not evil. I don't care if it's vandalism. Worth the 500 bucks. What is this? It's a nice little cloth draped over there. Alright, I don't have this quest, so I can't... doesn't do any good to try and talk to her. There's a quest here for going into the Hob Cave. That is just south of this. But it's worth a slight detour to get the key. And the money, apparently. Okay, let's see. Should be able to just go this way. I think there's a fishing spot here, if I remember correctly. Yes, uh, another key or a fish. I don't know. Let's find out. I'm standing in the fishing spot right now. Hit! <laughs> 
Caught something. Don't know why there are bubbles here. In the air, I mean. A moonfish. 30 grams. Alright. Okay. I could have sworn that was going to be a key. I believe if you use or eat a moonfish, it immediately turns to nighttime. And if you eat, like, a golden carrot or a... Oh, crud, hold on. Ow, 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 ow. Yes, I realize that, Guildmaster. Shut up. It's gonna be high on my priority list. It's getting more will energy. Okay, so this is the hob cave in here, which we don't have the quest for, so there's not a whole lot of point in going in there just yet. Except I believe there's like some red meat here, I think I see. Got some red meat. Uh, will potion. I'll take it. I need those a lot. Alright, this one I'm not ready for. Uh, basically, if you take on wave after wave after wave of hobs in front of him, I th then you can build up your combat multiplier, and I think he wants to see it super high. I do not have what I need to pull that off readily, so we're going to skip that for now. Darkwood entrance. Hmm. Thank Abo, you're here. I thought we were going to die in this hellish place. Oh no! We'll have to get to the Barrow Fields at the other end of Darkwood. Oh god, here we you go. You lead the way. We'll be right behind you. The sooner we put this forest behind us, the better. There are unnatural things out there. Okay, sorry. The quick check on something there. Right behind you. Oh, goody. All right, guys, here we go. In Darkwood, you will find the Chapel of Scorm. Please, the day it is there, and they will let evil into your soul. Yep. Okay. Uh, I want slow time by default, so I'm ready to use it. Really wanted it should have gone back to. This is what being a trader is all about. Not standing by a stall. Okay, nothing happens until I get to this guy. Ah, help! Something bit me and left me for dead. Oh no! Please, let me come with you. We can't let him follow. He's infected. He'll be eating our guts before we know it. We have sworn a traitor oath. We have to help him. This isn't a good idea. Not a good idea at all. I can pay well, and there won't be any trouble. Yes, you will. Sure. Thank you, hero. I'm, I'm a game. good guy, all. Coming. You know I know what's going on. See, they start you slow. There's nothing that attacks you here. It's a nice, easy milk run, right? Resurrection pile. Excellent. Well, there's the explodey kind. Nope. But they're the I'm empty right kind. Alright, dark wood marshes. This is not the kind of place to try and clear out on your first run through when you're trying to escort traitors. So, I will not be clearing this place out right away. I just want to get through these areas. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes! The Balvary. Ooh, he looks in the shadows, but he looks nice and vicious. Come on, where'd he go? I don't want to talk to you. Where'd he go? Where's he? Ah, didn't seem quite in time. Oh, get back here. That was cheap, and you know it. I 
missed? Okay, that counted it. Alright. Alright, Valverines are your pretty much your standard werewolves. This is Demon Door. What's your what's your dealio? Beware, traveler. I think Oh maybe this is the Oh no, okay, this is the okay, this one you have to fight the Hobbs. The other one is a combat multiplier thing. I'm not no, not right now. I'm trying to keep traders alive, but I'll come back for you later. So this one's just lots and lots and lots of hobs. The other one you have to get your combat multiplier high enough and then go see him while it's still high. You'd think they'd build a proper, well protected road through here, wouldn't you? You'd think. You'd be wrong. Alright, I don't think there's any Balverines here. Just think of the profits we'll make at the end of this. This is a nightmare. One long, painful nightmare. Careful! Those spores are lethal! No mind where you step. Ooh, me feet are killing me. Nice little jet there. We can't be very far now. Obviously, if you don't blow up all the spores, then one of these idiots might wander into it and hurt himself, which you don't want. Let's see, cycle through, activate multi arrow while I've got mana available, or willpower, excuse me. He deserves nothing less. We should be moving along now. What is it? Oh, that I knew poor little. Today was gonna be bad. I just knew it! Alright, because so far so good. That's not the hard part. We need to move quickly. There's a trader camp through the next gate. We need to be careful though. I've heard of I'm glad I have such fine companions with me. Turn up in the chest. There it goes. May have been pushing the wrong button. Or I may not have been. You, you don't know, you can't see bad. my hands. You should have been on my last trip. Your last trip? You are hor make horrible business decisions. Come on. There they are. You start targeting, and they're not in the right place yet, and then you're targeting nowhere near where you should be. Oh, so he's in the wrong direction, wasn't he? Lead on. I think this bow was a worthwhile investment. Traders, we are. We should be selling things, not risking our lives. Lead the way.
Protecting me. Ta da! I've never liked that study. There's something strange about it. There's one very much like it. We can't be very far now. Chest back there, but I don't think I have enough silver keys for it. So we're just gonna keep on going. I guess I'm not looking to explore while I'm trying to manage two or three traders following me around. And I said two or three, because well, something might happen to our unpleasant to our friend down. who's like, oh, something yes, bit me and ran away in a swamp line. full of werewolves. Wonder what's going to happen to him. Hello, Bran, the shopkeeper. Got any crunchy chicks? Okay, my bows are better than yours. Okay, now we're talking. Steel katana. That's not too expensive. Steel great axe. Can't carry. Physique required three. So the big weapons like great hammers, great axes, and big darn swords do require uh, the more physique than I have. Cleaver... Significant you know, obsidian axe, not bad. Master great axe. That's an improvement that I obviously can't afford. Uh, obsidian pick hammer, though. 28 boost. Or obsidian cleaver. More money than I feel like spending right now. Steel great axe. Can't carry it. Because I would not say no to a little more offensive power here. Steel mace, steel axe, steel cleaver, steel katana. That might be worth the investment for at this point. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Flame augmentation. Nah. Okay. Uh, equipment. Okay, and let's see, is that... Yeah, so if you look in the bottom right corner, between the difference between the Iron Katana and the Steel Pick Hammer, there's a little circle that appears there. That is where you can attach an Augment. Uh, I'm obviously, in, and so my Ebony Longbow can hold handle two Augments. Interesting. That might be worth it, because the Ebony Longbow, I think, is still going to last me for quite a while. Um, I'll look into that. I'm not sure yet. In the middle of the swamp, there's no morality for breaking barrels in the middle of the swamp. Hello, Mather. Mather shopkeeper. Excellent. I need will. Po I need potions. I will buy them. Thank you. And. Anything I can sell that's handy? Obviously not my potions. The jet, 259? No. See, look at that. He's full on stock, so he's not going to give me beans for it. This augmentations sell pretty nicely, though. I will say. Alright. I don't have any intention of selling any of that stuff. I've got a feeling everything will be alright. Ooh, a gamester. Right. Resurrection pile, excellent. And Logan, the shopkeeper. I think you sell. Yeah, I was about to say some dark stuff. Dark villager stuff. A dark, sinister shirt. An assassin shirt. Dark plate gauntlets. 
Yeah, see, some of the stuff you can only get in places like this. But all right, I'm gonna save it and see what this little mini game is. I could be terrible at it. Oh, I can't save here. I will come back to that mini game just because I don't really feel like. Well, play it once. What do you got? What is this one? Blackjack. All right, we're not gonna bet very much on this. I just want to see what it's like. Okay, I have six. He has a jack, so obviously I need to take it. Um, yes. Nine. Yay, I won! Okay. Okay, here we go. You all following still? Be ready? Oh! Chest! Didn't see that there. A steel axe. Did I just waste money? Okay, now my katana's better. I might not have bought the katana if I'd gotten the axe first. Because it wouldn't have been as much of a upgrade. But, oh well. That should take me to the Temple of Scorm. Love those statues. Alright. Oh, I did not mean to push that button. Coming. I could do with a nice warm bath right about now. Come on, Trent. There we go. Trying to I'm right with you. Spend the magic on the multi arrow right now while I still have it available. I'm sure we'll be there in no time. Items. Speaking of. See, so got three whole red XP for eating meat. I don't know about you, but I'm sticking to local trading from now on. Alright, multi arrow is set, ready for slow time. I never actually have enough magic for it. Let's go. This is seriously going to take some getting used to on casting these spells. I'm going to be cast miscasting things left and right. Eventually, it won't matter. But will you stop looking at me? I'm not going to turn. I think you will. Can I. I can't shoot anything down there yet. You think this is bad? You should have been on my last trip. Just in case. Lead the way. Yeah, you don't sound sinister at all. Lead the way. Oh, I don't feel too good. Oh, but don't fret. I'll be all right. I'm feeling a bit strange. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about, though. Uh-huh. Do you believe him? Because I don't. I could do with a nice warm back right about now. I'm right with you. The change is almost upon me. We must hurry. 
I don't think we're going to make it. Doesn't matter how fast you do this, as far as I know, he will always turn right here. I know my will of energy is low, it's because I'm casting spells to attack the Balverine. Alright, yeah. Stronger weapon. Very helpful there. Thank you. So, fortunately, you don't need to get to the end of this with the trader you didn't start with. So, I still get credit for all the traders surviving, even though that one clearly died. Alright, one more map till we get down to... Oh, yeah, this is the one I was thinking of for a while. All right, let's. Right behind you, hero. Your will energy is low. He says that every bloody time. This takes me right back to when I first became a trader. Oh, I think I stepped in a wet patch. Get me out of here! It's a swamp. We're almost there now. Yes. Just a bit further, and we'll be there. What in Ammo's name was that? It's bad news. Whatever it is, I'm sure of it. Oh, goody. Let's see. I've got a feeling everything will be alright. Get that off. A little bit more will, so I can use one slow I time when I need you, it. But I'm sticking to local trading from now on. Come on. One more. Sorry for this. There it is. Okay. Ooh, that was... Oh, cripes. It's this thing. I forgot I had to face one of these so soon. Okay. and don't hit the wrong button while you're doing it. And they do get to give you a gem when you kill them. So that was sweet of it. Barrow fields! Yay! Oh, there's a little picture of a troll there. Escape. Yay, fast travel. That takes us up to the Gray Manor, I think. Any over there? It's this oh, way. Way. Fantastic. Ah, Demon door there. there you are. We've been expecting you. Yay! Kept my boast. Maze seeks an audience with you again. You will find Excellent. him in Oak Vale Tavern. It, it seems job, rather hero. urgent. Oh, we You've received a new quest card. Hello, what is this in here? This is just an open tent. Okay.
Hello guys. Are you looking really? for blue mushrooms? Then you've come to the right. Pretty popular items, I can tell you. I've only sold one okay. to a trader near the guild, and then the other two. Let me think. Oh yes, one went to a rather miserable woman, likes to hang around the picnic area. The other went to a fellow who said he was throwing a party in the guild woods. Okay. So, are you interested? Demand is high, supply is low, so I can't take any. Guess so. Enjoy, my good it's man. Better be worth it. The circle of stones is. Can I, can I get in there and dig up something? No? Alright. kick you awake. Alright, well since I have a fast travel, I'm going to go head back to the guild and uh, hit up some spells, I think. And then call this a video, because it's getting a little bit late and it is definitely time for me to go to bed again. So. Attacking villagers with a weapon is a serious crime. What about with my fists? Since they steal my weapons away from me in Bowerstone. Alright, let's see what we got. I think I can do the Hob Cave now. Yes? No? Guess not. Okay. I'm not important enough to go rescue the woman's child yet. Alrighty, look at that now. Here we go. Got some physique, level 3, which will let me start picking up the big weapons. That might not be a bad thing. Um, accuracy, that's only a slight cost to my green XP. And that should... Uh, I'm doing quite a bit of ranged combat these days, so I'll take that. And, come on, where's the one I want? You know what I want. I want magic power. I need more mana. Okay, that'll increase my magic bar. Physical shield, I will need that eventually for that uh, high combat modifier demon door. The trick to getting past him is to use physical shield, run up your modifier, your combat modifier, and then uh, go talk to him. Because when you get hit, your combat modifier goes down. So, uh, let's see. Multi-arrow, too expensive for now. Force push, don't care. None of that stuff. Alright, so I still just need to save up for more... I will test this one out later because that looked awesome. So in the meantime, more magic power means I will be casting more magic spells, which means I'll be racking up more magic XP when the time comes. So that is a worthwhile investment and that should significantly increase the amount of magic that I get to cast. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. That's nice. Alright. Check my physical. Physique. I can do it. Still do it. So it's not a bad idea. Toughness. I would not say no to being able to handle bigger weapons, though. But. Let's boost. Each of these up a little bit. Take less damage is nice because if you notice the picture, obviously that looks like the uh, melee ring that I mentioned in a previous video in Bowerstone Key. There's one of these in several of the cities around Albion that you can go check out, and um, to compete in one, you have had to, you have to have beaten 
the fighters in the previous ring, etc. And so it's just melee fighting, so you need toughness and you need physique. So, uh, a little extra health, not a bad idea. Too expensive now. What do you think? I want, I'll get everything eventually. Health or toughness? Health or toughness? Or hold off for more physique? I agree. I'll hold off for more physique. Thanks for talking that out with me. Okay. We're going to teleport back to Bowerstone Field. Or Bower... Actually, I'll just leave it here. Anyway. Ah... Uh, Sorry for the weird ending there, but uh, thank you for joining me for this video. This is, uh, what, number three, I think, for Fable, or four? Four. And we are working our way, starting to make a little bit of progress in the story now, and we have made it down to Bowers, not Bowers, uh, Oakvale, which was our original hometown, which is no longer burned to the ground and destroyed, so we'll be exploring that next time. And probably do some looting, probably find some more keys. I don't think I'll kill anybody except bandits and such. We'll see. So, join me next time. Thank you for uh, watching the video. Leave a like, subscribe, and have a great one. Bye.